Tonight, we are getting a look at a controversial project coming to an Orlando neighborhood. The developer unveiling the first phase of the $1 billion plan to convert an abandoned golf course in Rosemont into thousands of apartments and retail space. Yeah, now we have followed the fallout for months now. News 6's Jerry Askin has a look at the plan and reaction. I don't, I don't think uh, it's a good idea. But you're saying no way for this new development. I am. I am definitely totally against it. Many residents here in Rosemont are not happy about that $1 billion proposed urban development set to bring apartments and retail space to this abandoned golf course right near their homes. You walk out your backyard and it's just kind of like, hello. I mean, they're right there on top of you, which is nuts. This coming as we got a copy of the master plan for phase one of the controversial Rose Arts District. The Westside Capital Group developers submitted the plans last week after Orlando commissioners approved the rezoning plan late last year. Phase one would include 1,600 units in four apartment buildings, some green space, and about 150,000 square feet of retail shops. And in total, about 10% of the apartments will be affordable housing. I don't like it because it's going to be too much traffic going on here. Many residents have signed petitions and even put up signs in their yards reading, Save Our Green Space. But not everyone is against it. I strongly support this project because I see our community depleting more and more. A spokesperson for the developer releasing this statement to News 6. We look forward to completing the process with the city and delivering this exciting mixed-use development, which includes much-needed housing for Central Florida. And I'm told there is no word now on the order of construction if this all moves forward. As far as the next steps, the city's municipal planning board is set to review this on August 16th. City commissioners set to vote in September. In Orlando's Rosemont community, I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.